How to add transitions inside DaVinci Resolve. To get started, I'm having two video files onto my timeline and I want to add a transition. So I go in here into the effects, I go down in video transitions and then I scroll down until I find the transition that I want to use. Next up, you want to highlight it and go over with the mouse left to right in order to preview the transition that you're about to apply. So for example, if you want to use this clock white transition, you can go left to right on it in order to be previewed in the viewer screen. So now for our example, let's use this push transition. I'm just going to use it as an example. It's in the motion tab. I'm going to preview it going left to right by hovering it with the mouse, seeing it on the viewer screen. And now I'm grabbing it, holding the left click and I'm dropping it into the beginning of my first clip. As you can see, a transparent window will appear and that means that there is a video transition. As you can see, it is already applied. You can grab the end side of that transition in order to increase its length. And by increasing its length, you're gonna make it go slower. As you can see, our transition is way slower than the default. And now I'm shrinking it back down, making it a tiny bit. And now it's faster than the default one. Also, you can leave your transition in between the clips as I'm going to try right now dragging and dropping this push transition between my clips but it's not possible. This is happening in rare cases and that is only because there's not enough data in between the clips. So in order to avoid that you have to shrink the first one and then the second one like that. You have to cut or delete some of the parts after and before to have some data in between the clips in order to apply the transition. And this is something that is very frustrated for the ventures of users, so I hope they fix it in the near future. You can also watch this video right here, I'm sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.